now everybody it's uh december 16th vlogmas number 16. boy do we have a nice day outside look at that blue sky i don't see any clouds coming from that's the west so i don't see any clouds coming from the west uh it's cool outside you know it's not real warm but it's uh it's gorgeous so anyhow um I just finished answering my um, my YouTube comments on various videos and I'm going to go to the gro grocery store and to the uh, post office to finish mailing stuff. Um, then I'm going to come home and rest and decide if I've got the energy to go to my mom's and hang out with her today. I'm just not really sure which way I want to jump. I have a feeling, yeah, I have a feeling that I want to, um, to jump you know, towards a chair. <laughs> so I, yeah, I kind of think I'm probably not going to be going anywhere today. So on that note, I am off to the town square and I will just talk to you guys later. Bye. Um, we just got back from doing some grocery shopping and going to the post office and Otter's been sitting here waiting for us in front of the nice warm fire. So that's kind of nice. I am. Um, yeah, I'm still not up to walking on this darn foot. I was in the grocery store and my ankle started to click every time I took a step. Click, step, click, step, click, step. It was really irritating. And I think what's going on is I've been walking to the inside of my foot because my broken bones on the outside have been favoring that side. And I think what's happened is I've just you know how you do that for a while, everything starts to get out of alignment and then some muscles, um, they get um, stronger than others and then it starts to pull on stuff and you go to hell in a handbasket real quick. So, that's that. I think, um, I think some sitting in front of the fire and maybe watching another Christmas movie is in order. So I'll check in with y'all later. Otter, you want to check in with them later? She says, yeah, right, whatever. She's really struggling with indecision right now. Her little old tail is flopping which means she'd like to attack my hand. But her mind is saying, you know, this feels so good. Maybe I'll just wait a couple more seconds before I scratch and bite. Yep, see, there we go. <laughs> it did feel good, didn't it, Otter? You liked that. See, look, there it is, more indecision. So I want to fight, I do, but it feels so good. Yeah. Yep. This is about as lazy as a day gets. I think I need to get some exercise. I think I'm going to watch a movie. I don't know how much of this I can show and have it be fair use, but um, I'm sitting here watching Singing in the Rain with Gene Kelly, Debbie Reynolds, and Donald O'Connor. This is a classic film. I love it. Okay, I think I've probably gotten to the end of fair use. Well, I'm sitting here this evening, had dinner, and I'm... Um, going through my stuff, including postcards that I got when I was in Vermont, and I wanted to share these with you. All right, so when I was in Wilmington, Vermont, I went to this store, I think it's called the Country Store, and I bought a bunch of postcards, which I'm going to share with you now. A lot of the postcards that I saw were so pretty and idyllic. I mean, you know, they just... They just make you want to go to Vermont and hang out. Just so beautiful and picturesque. 
Here's one that's autumn in Vermont. So pretty. And this is a postcard that was from the store that was next door. It was a quilting store that I just left. Then I noticed some postcards that were maybe just a little, a little more awkward, like this one. It's pretty, but it looks a little cold and forbidding. And then this one, which is lovely, except for that it shows like a broken down house. <laughs> And I didn't see any broken down houses in Vermont. They must have been hiding. All I saw were beautiful idyllic places. Then we come to this bridge, which at first glance is, you know, kind of cool. But, um, okay, it looks a little bit... <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to cross that bridge, you know, carrying a, a trailer behind me. Then we get to this one. <laughs> And by this time I realized I had gotten into the humor because this one says, two more payments and it's all ours. <laughs> then I found this, which also at first glance is kind of pretty, except for that you see over in the left-hand corner there's some kind of nasty storm approaching. We got some darkness and rain and wind and who knows what else. It, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to be hanging out next to a, a metal sign with that stuff coming at me. But finally we get to the one that I think is the funniest, and it is this one right here. Okay, we've got these ominous, helmeted snowmobiles coming at us, hell-bent for leather, and we can only hope that at the last minute they swerve left and right and, and not cross one another, but go left and right and avoid the poor photographer who is taking this perilous photograph. <laughs> yeah. Come to Vermont and get run over by snowmobilers. <laughs> so that's my, uh, oh, I got another one. So that's my little uh, ode to Vermont. There's another one that I, I sent out to a couple different people too. I don't have a copy of that. But it's just, it's ominous as well. I'm turning this around. So anyway, <laughs> that's my, uh, that's my tour through my Vermont postcards. Um, I'm making a little headway on my table, not much, uh, but a little bit. I'm putting all my Christmas craft supplies in one big bin, so they'll be all together when I do this again next year. And, um, you know, slowly, slowly putting things in their little cubby holes where they belong. So, the other thing I've been doing is I've been reading about Snapchat. Um, Shauna over at The Love of Makeup has told me a couple of times that I need to check out Snapchat. She really likes it. So um, I'm going to pose that question to you guys. Um, in addition to Shauna, um, do, how many of you guys use Snapchat and what do you think about it? Um, I'm just kind of beginning to understand what it's about. It sounds like um, almost like a... Uh, What's the one where your photos leave really quickly? I'm not sure what that one's called. Um, anyway, I don't know. I, it's, I'm sure it's got a subculture all its own, and I would like to know more about it. So I've been checking out Snapchat. And um, I've been looking at the little um, makeup bag that Angel gave me. And I've been thinking this would be fun to use for that deal where you pick out you know, your eyeshadows and, and your lipstick and your foundation and all that crap for the week. And you put it all in a little bag and you carry it around with you and you use, those are the makeups you use for a week. It's one way to actually use your stuff up and also um, kind of organize the whole makeup deal. Of course, you're, then you're, you know. Well, I'm in the of. kitchen tonight doing kitchen stuff. I was digging around in the refrigerator and I discovered a a bag of organic kale that Grant had picked up at um, Trader Joe's that I didn't realize was there so I made a little beef stock from the roast that I had baked earlier and I put some lentils and just some seasoning salt pepper fennel and I'm going to toss some uh, whole garlic whole peeled garlic in here in a bit 
and just let that puppy cook down until for a little while and turn it off till tomorrow. Got my candle a flickering. So that's kitchen. Now I'm going to show you what I've been doing out in the Okay, pan. I know this is looking a jumble, but the reason is that um, Grant brought in and placed a second shelving unit, shelving unit there, and the third one is there. So now I've got a nice, nice amount of shelving um, on this side here. And I think what I'm going to do is put rarely used appliances up there. This lightweight one will be for paper supplies, bags, and so forth. Extra food's going to be there. And then on this side, probably extra cooking things and just miscellaneous. Then, um, over here, I am going to put another shelving unit. I'm going to push this uh, over, and I'm going to leave this little uh, metal closet thing there. There's one of those um, cork boards that I made. I've actually been thinking of taking it. Well, I'm not going to lift it because it's too heavy, but um, I've been thinking about taking it and mounting it to this door, one on each side, just hanging so that when I need them for a craft show, I can take them off the door, but in the meantime, they can be hanging there. So that is where I'm at tonight.